Hey gang, we're the Millers. In paradise. A bright, sunny paradise. <laughs> yeah, sorry for the sunglasses, but whew, I can't see without them. Down at the lake, in case you can't tell. Yep. Figured we'd wrap up the uh, Battle of the Sake House video. Yep, this is our recap of the eight that we went to, and we're going to do rankings. One, we're going to do just the stakes, and then we're going to do overall experience, which encompasses everything. The stakes, what I got, the atmosphere, this, I mean, just overall experience. So I guess we'll just go ahead and start, and I guess we should start with just the stakes. And I think we should start at the bottom and work up. Okay. Yes, I think we should go backwards. McDonald's. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> this is just the steak. Number eight, last on the list. This was a no-brainer. Ruby Tuesdays. It was pitiful. It really was. <laughs> yeah, it was. I, they called it a steak, but I swear it looked like a thin pork top to me. But yeah, it looked like yeah. tiny. Supposed to have been six ounces. It could have been two, maybe three at the most. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, yeah. And the salad bar kind of disappointed me. And they had a decent salad bar, but Wait, one thing we're I really talking liked. About steaks right now. I know what I'm saying, but that, that's the whole experience was. I know what we're talking about. Steak. Yeah, this is just the steak right Excuse now. Excuse me. Yeah, steak was not good. All right, number seven. Black Angus. That steak was the first half of it was great, but then I hit a sour spot or something, and it was man, it made me nauseated. So I couldn't touch it after that. So yeah, I don't know what it was. Yeah, I think you got a piece that was maybe ruined or yeah, spoiled, spoiled or, or something. something. Yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah, that was. Yeah, I mean, I've had you know like seared fat that has a little bit of a burnt taste to it or whatever, but nothing like that. It was sour taste. You know, so it was yeah. something wrong. So we only got to eat about half of it, and then. That was it. It was over. All right, number six. Outback. <laughs> Outback, the video that started it all. Yeah, and that was weird because we've been there plenty of times and it's been great. And I think I know what happened. I was telling Honey Bun, in fact, I think he's in the Black Angles video, I think. I feel like somebody ordered the same meal that I got, but they wanted like cayenne pepper or something on everything. And I think they brought that to me by mistake. That, that's the only thing I can think of. Even, even a baked potato. Yeah, because it, it wasn't just so, a steak yeah. thing. And then, of course, my mistake was when I said, send me another one, but I want it plain. Well, they didn't put nothing on anything. So it was actually real plain. So yeah. it wasn't very good. They either. took that a little too literal. Yeah, so that was anyway. probably my fault. But still. Yep. All right, we're going to move We'll go on back up. there, though. I'm, yeah, we will. Good. Just that we will. one night, we just had a bit off night. Yep. All right, number five. This is just the steaks again. My namesake, Mellon's yep. Ale House. It was good, a little chewy, but the steak was good. Yeah, I mean, I'd definitely go back there again. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm moving on up, number four. Texas Roadhouse. Again, great flavor. And it was pretty tender, but it wasn't, didn't stand out to me. Uh, you know, it just, it was good, just wasn't great. Yeah, good, not yeah. excellent, yeah. but yeah. All right, number three, and he really liked this steak a lot. Yeah, it, it was obviously now in the top three, but I mean, it was amazing. Bahama Breeze. Which is shocking because it was a little bit chewy. It was sirloin, which some sirloins are pretty tender. This was a little bit chewy, but it had a great charcoal flavor. I loved it. I it had like a garlic. Butter. And had garlic butter on top of on it top and stuff, of you know. It. Yeah, but it had, you know, you can tell it cooked on open flame. It had the charcoal, you know, the crusty edges on it. And I loved it. It was amazing. It really was. Yep. So Bahama Breeze. Yep. If you go there, and you want a steak? It's gonna be good. Yep. All right. Number two. Number two. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. Yeah. Yep. Number two was uh, Longhorn. Longhorn steak was amazing. It was. I mean, it was tender, juicy, good flavor to it. I think it had that garlic butter on the top of it. I think it was. Anyway, yeah, it was. It was excellent. I'd definitely go back here and I mean, yeah, it was good. 
I think it was a pretty big toss-up, maybe. Between yeah, I was really torn between the top between two. Between the top that. two on who got the number one spot, but the number one... To me, no doubt, is Logan. To Logan's steak was amazing. Close to the best I've ever had. Uh, like I said that in the video, too. It, it was amazing. I mean, it was sirloin, but it was like melting your mouth tender. Great flavor. Cooked perfect. I mean, it, it was amazing all the way around. It really was. Yep. Yeah. So, number one steak for Randy, Logan's Roadhouse. From what we did and the experience yeah. we had. Yeah. Now, granted, out back has been amazing at times, and we'd go back at a night, and it'd be great. But Just from that. what we did in the videos and what we had the experience of and all that, then, yeah, that was, that was how I rated them. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so now we're going to switch over, and we're going to do overall. And this one has some input from Honey Bun, too, because yeah, it was the whole experience, not just the steak. So. Yeah, like the sides, what I got, the atmosphere, cleanliness, uh, service. I mean, everything, top to bottom. So we're going to start at the bottom, number eight. Again, it's Ruby Tuesday. Yeah, that was just... Um, like you said, the salad bar was a little disappointing. We had remembered it being a lot better and having more on it than this one did. My food was good, um, but just... Mine wasn't. Yeah, overall. Well, the place wasn't very clean. Even I showed a picture, and I think a little arrow pointing in the video. The edge of the booth was falling off, laying up against the window. It just... Place was run down looking. Really yeah, good. it just wasn't well maintained, and and so just the whole overall experience. No, just nope. So out of that, Ruby Tuesday, last place. Yep. All right, moving on up, number seven, Black Angus. Yeah, I mean we already talked about the steak, but to me the shrimp was so rubbery I couldn't eat it. I mean the baked potato was a baked potato, it wasn't great, fantastic, no, it wasn't no. bad, but you know. The atmosphere wasn't bad, but it's so daggone pricey for what we got. It, it is so expensive. It, it was $20 higher than any place we went for a steakhouse. And they advertise it. They have a big billboard, like steak fourteen ninety nine or whatever they say or whatever. Uh, it wasn't but on the menu. Yeah, it's very, Unless very. It was like a lunch special or something we didn't see. But oh, maybe. Yeah, dinner it's, menu, it wasn't even close to that price wise. Yeah, very pricey. So yeah. it does have a gift shop. Connected to it that you yeah. can walk through. And she, it's she, cool. uh, she liked it better than the meal, I think. Yeah, the decor was kind of cool, but um, yeah. other, other than that, Bye. excuse me. Thank you. All right. We're going to keep going at number six. Out back. Let her read this. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to remember what I eat. Yeah, she got that. Oh yeah, I, what is it called? It chicken, the uh, battered chicken. The yeah, uh, it it's made with the same batter. Orange the, blossom chicken or something, whatever. No, it's made with Bloom, the, oh blooming chicken. Yeah, blooming. Yeah, but yeah. It, it was so overcooked. I mean, some of it you couldn't even chew it. I mean, it's just crunchy it hard. Was so hard. I, One I or two bites are pretty good, but yeah. Yeah, I should have stuck with my go-to. Never fail, which is the Alice Springs chicken, which I love so much. But I wanted to try something different. And the first couple of bites were good. They were. But it was kind of, I had to explain it, and, and kind of and broke like, like Butterfly. this. Yeah. And the f first couple were good but then that some of it was so hard i couldn't eat it like it was so crunchy just hard like rocks yeah. and then just the whole i felt so bad for him and now their bread was good their salads are amazing but yeah. just the overall experience that night yeah, that's why just, we said we'd definitely go back there yeah I mean, oh yeah we've definitely. had great experiences there before just yeah had a bad night because i will say of all the salads Outbacks is number one for me, hands down. I love their salad. I can tell you the top four or five has been great salads all the way around. But. Yeah, but anyway, we're going to move on up now to number five, which is Miller's Ale House. It was good. Yeah, my, no complaints. I mean, other than I said the steak was a little chewy, but 
Uh, is it done yeah. wrong? I'll go back in a minute. So, yeah. yeah, the five, four, three, two, one are all good. Yeah. So, I mean, there's... yeah. One no, did stand out from the others, but yeah. just a little bit. Yeah, but um, definitely go back to Miller's again. Yeah. It was good. The service was good. Like, the manager came over and checked on us. And, I mean, it was just... It was good. So, I definitely... I can recommend Miller's L House. All right, we're moving on up to number four, Logan's. Why is Logan's number four overall and number one on the steak? Bread for one. Bread for doughy to me. Yeah, it, shrimp the, was overcooked. Decor is kind of in between Longhorn and. Texas Roadhouse, I think. Which yeah. is not bad, but I mean, just, I don't know, it just didn't seem like a, it was upscale a joint, I guess you say. Yeah. Mainly just because of the bread and, and the uh, shrimp. Shrimp was not terrible, but it's so rubbery, you couldn't hardly chew it, you know. Yeah, I, th I think they just needed to cook the rolls longer. Yeah. They just were not cooked all the way. Yeah. Uh, they were good, but they just weren't quite yeah. done. But yeah, but we still, I'd still go there in a heartbeat. Yeah, oh yeah. Well, I, mean, I mean, especially like said, the, the gets, money, they were the cheapest one we went to, I think. Yeah, the, the price there. Yeah, and they got 11 out in sirloin, which that was amazing. I mean, I'd, I'd go back there just for that, even if it was besides. But yeah, I mean, overall experience is what we're talking about, so. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so then we're going to move up to number three, which is Bahama Breeze. It, it was great. I, that coconut shrimp what? appetizer that I had was amazing. My meal that I got, that fried chicken on the bed of mashed potatoes with the other stuff around it, like the corn and black beans and tomatoes. That dish is just unbelievable. So, yeah, I, Bahama Breeze, yeah, definitely loved it. Yep. And he got a well, great I got, steak. I think I got the broccoli there. Well, I love broccoli. And I had, I think, mac garlic mashed potato. Yeah, my one complaint about what? Bahama Breeze, and I think I've said this, is no bread service. Yeah, yeah, they don't have a bread service. But it, it's not a steakhouse, so Yeah, it's I mean, not, it's not really known as a steakhouse, but they do have, they do. to me, good steaks. But anyway. Yeah, he loved the steak there, yeah, but that's my one thing is um, did kind of miss the bread service there. All right, so we're moving on up number two. Texas Roadhouse. That is a very good go-to, reliable, delicious place. Yes, that uh, the rolls and that cinnamon butter and oh, it, everything was just so so good. Yeah, so I love Texas Roadhouse. Oh, I do too. Don't get me wrong, but yep. I, I have to admit, number one, and we talked about this quite a bit, did stand out for us yep. for several reasons but yep and number one is longhorn hands down yeah for the experience by far. you know the atmosphere the service the sides i mean that shrimp i got it was every bit as good as bubble gump that was amazing so steak was amazing salad was amazing everything was great you know. yeah uh, so experience wise that's what we're rating now that was our best experience yeah, it is so nice in there. It's upscale. The service was amazing. It's clean. Just my chicken I had was phenomenal. I still remember that. That steakhouse mac and cheese, unbelievable. Um, their bread and butter is excellent. So, yeah, I mean, it's just... And reasonably priced. Yes. For what you're getting, you know, the experience and all, it, it, it was a good, good deal. Yeah, so that is number one by far for us was Longhorn. But anyway, it was fun. Uh, we're switching gears now, moving on to Burger Battles. and uh, We started that today. We <laughs> did start today with, with Red Robin. Yep. But uh, you got to watch that video to find out. That'll be up in a couple of days. We're going to try to get this one up first to finish up this series. So. Yeah, but yeah, definitely check out. We're moving on to Burger Battles, but hope you enjoyed this series. We certainly will. For the most part, we did. There were, mm, yeah. Not were every not, not every experience was great, but we enjoyed doing the series. We yeah. enjoyed doing the series, even though there were some mm, questionable 
stakes in there but yeah. anyway thank you guys so much for watching we sure do appreciate it uh please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it let us know some other series that you'd like to see maybe uh, about all the seafood mexican restaurants italian restaurants you know what whatever we did do the burger battle that was recommended by a, um, a subscriber or a comment like hey do you know battle the burgers so that's what we're doing now oh we got a little airplane up above but anyway leave us some comments what uh kind of dining challenges we should yeah do. we're still gonna do disney stuff and central florida stuff or whatever I mean, but it's in between but it, this has been a good experience and something we can do after we get on work one afternoon instead of having yeah. weekends off and doing things and stuff in the parks or whatever so yeah. plus plus spring break and easter and all has been packed down here so we've kind of been avoiding the park because of that but most of that's over with now so yeah so we should be able to get back to the parks yeah. and of course we'll do some dining reviews in the parks yeah. but anyway thanks again so much for watching please subscribe to our channel and uh click that notification bell so you're notified every time we post a new video we'll wrap it up remember paradise is a steak state of mind yep from now on though our next up burgers uh, yeah that's coming up but <laughs> <laughs> steak's still my favorite <laughs> bye